Happy Wednesday, everybody. Another beautiful morning. Week has been great. on my way into the truck and another one bit the dust over here on the right it's the second one this morning already this road is terrible this is a different kind of snow than we've had all winter uh, no one's in that van anymore okay it hit the ditch yesterday good there was one pickup behind me that hit the ditch just now in front of me now, he went way in there way in there my tow rope can't even reach that far so he's got to get a tow truck out there and Pull them out. I'll be a little late for work. But yeah, these roads are uh, a little interesting this morning. Hopefully everyone's going to be taking it easy. I have a feeling there's going to be more people in the ditch because, like I said yesterday, in the morning seems to be when people are the most aggressive. Oh, what's this guy doing? Well, it's not a good place to pull over unless it's an emergency, but... I hope you got, well, I hope you don't got an emergency, but I hope you got a good reason to pull over there like that. Ooh, that is slippery. Yeah, on an icy highway, I would say don't pull over on the shoulder find a road like one of that gravel road that we just passed there if there's no turnout or like uh, if you're not on an interstate or something find a, a road just pull onto that road get off the highway so that people aren't gonna hit you it's slippery out here and like this all some icy patches pop up if people aren't paying very close attention they hit these icy spots and uh, they'll <laughs> they'll start spinning all over the highway very quickly so hopefully there's no big accidents this morning. I hope everybody's paying attention. We've had two days of practice in driving in snow now already for April. The snow that fell was very wet and very sticky. And it's causing this to happen. It's just pretty much packing into solid ice on the highways. And we have a salt truck in front of us here who is putting this little tiny little line of salt right in the center of the lanes where nobody's driving on. But at least he's salting some of the road. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, he's out there doing something. I mean, I'd put salt across the whole thing, but maybe, maybe that's not how they do it. I don't know, I'm not a salt truck driver. I've got to grab a trailer this morning and head up to Arbor. And uh, from my experience, it's always worse up there. Hopefully today we can we can officially say that Arbor is not as bad as Steinbach weather-wise. But uh, you know, I'm not really counting on being able to say that. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. At least I get a nice long drive up north this morning. It'll be a good day. It'll be in my nice warm cab. There's Bill. We gotta pull out my truck. <laughs> he sees me here. Is it out here already? Everyone else's truck here. Oh no, it's still over there, it's still stuck. <laughs> All right, we gotta go and uh, get the old girl unstuck. <laughs> if you watched yesterday's video, you'll know. There she is, she's gonna need a little bit of a tug this morning. 
Boy, that's a deep snow drift. I'm gonna go around this way. Don't really feel, oh, there's a deep snow drift on this side too. This one's not as deep. Don't really feel like getting my boots all full of snow first thing in the morning. There's no, I guess there's no better way to start off the morning than that. All right, let's get her warmed up. for the day including my winter jacket seems I need this thing more than I realized so got all our stuff in here now I guess I should put my seatbelt on to cross the lot thank God for Bill always in a good mood joking around he can make a stressful morning not so stressful got me pulled out there's actually two bills here uh, there's a Bill who works in the office. He drives that nice, clean Chevy I was talking to you about last week. Always has his vehicles clean every day. I've never seen his vehicle dirty. Uh, I'll refer to him as Office Bill. And then there's Bill out here in the yard. He's the yard manager. I'll call him Yard Bill. Two Bills, both great guys. I like both of them a lot. Let's 
Yeah, I gotta find my trailer here now. Where's the trailer? It's gonna be a roll tight again. 6.05, is it a step deck? Or is it a flatbed? What's this trailer here? This is 5.46 just to our left. And 4.14 DTR, that's a step deck. Neither of these are the one I'm supposed to take. I'll keep searching. I see another one over there. I should know these trailers like the back of my hand already. I'm the roll tight guy. I should know all the numbers. I should start memorizing them. This is 412 DTLR. I should really start memorizing what they look like and their trailer number so that I can spot them across the yard and tell you what trailer number it is. I'm gonna start uh, putting some energy into that because I'm, like I said, I'm the roll tight guy. I should know which trailer is which just by looking at them. No, it's not here. I see two of them coming up here. One of them's gotta be my 605, but this is the loaded lineup. I thought it was supposed to be empty. That is 411 and there's 605, the second one. I wonder if it's loaded? Why would it be here if it's empty? Whew. Gotta be careful, she's pretty slippery. I've had my balance tested twice already. <laughs> Just about bit it twice. So we'll walk. We'll walk, walk like a penguin. Very, very carefully. Okay, we'll just waddle along. The penguins got it right. They know how to walk on the ice. <laughs> anyway, uh, okay, check all the tires here. We have a tri-axle with the lift axle in the back. The axle is up. That's good. All the tires on this side are filled with air. I love it when that happens. What's this doing here? Oh, it's probably to stop that from flapping. Okay, let's uh, just grab that. Um, hook it on here. There you go. See, I guess that, that's still gonna flap. Is there anywhere else we can hook that onto? Okay, well, oh, this this trailer, that's right, okay, let's remember, it's 605 that has the wires crossed. It's still okay that the inside ones are the signals and the outside ones are the brake lights. As long as they're on each side, it still tells everybody behind me what I'm doing. It's just, I, I'm pretty sure that that's supposed to be wired differently, but I don't know. What does it mean to be, to say it's supposed to be done a certain way? I don't really know. This one was just done different. That's all I have. Mud flaps are in place. I like these things. They stop the mud flap from flapping up so that uh, I can be certain I'm not gonna be throwing rocks at people. This axle doesn't look like it's lifted up yet. Oh yeah, just barely. Just barely, it's just the angle we're at here. It'll lift up higher once we get on flat ground. Just making sure that they're filled with air. Not checking pressure or anything right now. I'm gonna get it out of this spot here because this is all water. Can't do much here. We've got a little bit of freight in here right now. And uh, that freight that we have in here is going to Florida. We're gonna go on, oh, oh, ah, no, no. Oh man. Oh, that was just about a booter. That was close. Can I get through here? Oh man, everywhere I go. Nothing worse than a booter first thing in the morning. Ah. Okay, we're gonna go quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Right, the penguin. Cut. Man. What was I saying? Okay. This freight in here is going to Florida. I'm not sure exactly where in Florida. Actually, maybe it says on here. Where's it going? Wesley Chapel, Florida. That's where this stuff's going. We picked it up here in Manitoba. It's going all the way down there to the land of palm trees and freedom. Good for it, I'm happy for it. The rest of this trailer, we're filling up with similar freight and it's going to Mississippi. Just as good. Both of them are probably uh, much better climates at this point. I doubt they have any snow there. And uh, 
I'm gonna really hope that the snow from here doesn't follow the freight there for you guys, okay? I wouldn't wish that on you, okay? I'm all about sharing is caring, but I'll keep the snow here this time. Just this time, okay? Because I like you guys. Next time I might send some with. Oh, no big deal, just the April ice roads. This is uh, just north of Winnipeg, north perimeter. If you're familiar with Winnipeg, this is between McPhillips and Road 90. The next interchange, I'm going north of Highway 7. But uh, if you're not familiar with the area, just north of Winnipeg, it's always the Honda Civics. It's always the Honda Civics. <laughs> I'm taking her easy, man. If they want to give her, you give her. Man, I don't judge, but just don't hit me, okay? Just don't hit me. Try not to hit anyone else if you're gonna hit the ditch. But this is Winnipeg, though. No one slows down for winter roads. I mean, if we would all stop, like if there was snow like this, let's say in Georgia or Florida, everything would shut down, right? Or even Washington State, everything would shut down. Uh, here, this is just another day. This is just Manitoba. Welcome. Now you understand why we ask you. Why did you, why would you come here? What are you doing here? I was born here. What's your excuse? Oh, it's gonna be a big bump, big bump. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, woo! The Winnipeg Rodeo. Wow. Oh, that truck behind me wasn't ready for it. He wasn't ready for it. Oh boy, he went flying into the next lane. I wish I could have a camera behind my truck. Almost took out this little car that's coming past me on the left, who obviously isn't even phased by the fact he almost died. He's still giving her. There he goes. He just about died, buddy.
remember this Petro Canada here in Arburg. This is where I had to fix the air compressor that had unscrewed itself. The, the hose, the air compressor itself was fine, but the hose unscrewed itself. Fix that up. Today I had to fix something else. My uh, washer fluid nozzles or the, the line must have gotten plugged because uh, about 15 minutes before I got to town here, it stopped spraying washer fluid onto my windshield. And I thought that I was out. Oh, that's weird. I haven't used that much and I checked it this morning and it was full. I pulled in here and grabbed fuel right away while well, I was trying to figure this out so that while I was fueling I could uh, you know, figure out what, why, what was wrong or just fill up my washer fluid. Turns out my washer fluid was still more than half full so that wasn't the problem and I heard the pump running so I located the washer fluid pump, found out that it was still pumping good so that must mean that there was a blockage in the line from the pump to the wipers because both wipers weren't working and I have winter washer fluid in there so it shouldn't have frozen but you never know so I just disconnected the hose and uh, blew into it that seemed to have fixed it <laughs> the simple things right glad I didn't call the shop hey my washer fluid isn't working eh just for them to do what I did and like have it fixed in less than two minutes. That'd be embarrassing. Now yeah, we've got washer fluid again. Must have been something in there. Maybe a tiny little, uh, tiny little bit of the washer fluid froze, but that's weird because it should be good down to minus 40 and it's only minus three today. So that shouldn't have been a problem, but something, maybe a piece of dirt, I don't know. Anyways, I blew the lines clear. Now we're spining it. I was really dreading the ride back with no washer fluid. That would have been uh, interesting. It's one of those messy days where you need a lot of it. But Britt and I have our uh, final IUI appointment at our fertility clinic tomorrow. So I won't be in at work uh, for tomorrow for at least the morning, but it'll probably turn into the whole day because our appointments are spread out throughout the day. I have one at 8, one at 10.30, and now I just realized we have another one at 2 p.m., all in Winnipeg. So the truck will be sitting tomorrow. I was just gonna get him to fix it tomorrow then, but no need to call the shop. Trucker Josh fixed it himself. I'm somewhat of a mechanic. <laughs> By somewhat, I mean that I can fill the washer fluid and uh, unplug the lines and also screw on an airline hose. Not bad if I say so myself. I better watch out, they're going to start asking me to work in the shop on the weekends. <laughs> oh, which way are you going, bud? Which way are you going? Nobody, okay. Nobody uses signals. Hold up, oh, now you get a, hey bud. I take the turn super wide to get around him because he won't back up and he didn't have his turn signal on and I didn't know which way he was going. And then as I take the turn super wide, he goes the opposite direction that I thought he was going. My friends, that is what your signals are for, to signal me, to tell me which direction you're going. They're not for you. But, I guess I, I digress. It doesn't matter how much we talk about signals. The message will never get out. And it's good news. It's a message of good news. And of great joy. Turn signals. Ah, well, we're going to skip forward a little bit here. We're already back at the yard. Nothing too exciting to show you during loading. It was uh, it was pretty much the same as other times I've showed you. I don't like to repeat myself over and over too many times, but uh, this is what we loaded. This was already in the truck. I don't know who loaded that. I didn't do that. This is what I loaded today. Just these two pieces here. And uh, these pieces are going to, where are you going? Hazelhurst 
Mississippi. Tell you what, I might just tag along. I wish, eh? Well, it's very simple, very simple. I had to wait a while to get loaded because there's trucks in front of me, but uh, once I was there, opened the cover, maybe 20 minutes and we were out of there. And I drove all the way back already. Roads were much better in the afternoon. The morning were terrible, but uh, they, they did get a lot better throughout the day. So now I believe we're done. We're gonna head home. I'm happy with this day today. Uh, this one trip, I didn't really have to get too, too deep into the snow, we'll say. I gotta sit in my cab for most of the day, which was a nice little blessing. All right, let's go home. Trucks are just parked all over the place. Went over there, went over there, went over there, went over there. <laughs> Wherever we can find solid ground, because everything is so soft right now. So I parked mine off to the left over here. That's mine. Right beside my old one. Oh. Hit a little bit of a soft spot there. <laughs> Even my pickup is sinking in. Yeah, well, at least most of the snow was melted already, right? You look around, it's pretty warm outside. Well, it's two degrees outside right now. Eh, give it a few days, all this snow will be gone again. And we'll be in the clear. And I think that time it'll be for good. I think that time's gonna be for summer. But I just remembered, we have had snow on May long weekend before. Not this much, but I better keep my mouth shut. Anything could happen. They haven't seen me yet, but they know I'm here. <clears throat> Let me announce my arrival. Oh, I missed you too, bud. I missed you too. He knows not to put his paws on me. Put your paws on me. I'll put my paws on you. I'll put my paws on you. Hear me? Bring it on. Bring it on. Okay, guys. Okay. So, uh, as you may have figured out already, Britt's not home. <laughs> That's how I get home when I get home alone. <laughs> She's at work still. So, let's, uh... Take these guys outside, shall we? See what the yard looks like? Is it getting kind of soggy out there? All right, guys, a lot of the snow melted, so it's a little bit better than it was yesterday. You guys ready? Come on. Come on. One more. Oh, there he is. There he is. I'll go all the way in the yard. All the way in the yard. No peeing up here by the patio furniture. Chase him back here. Oh, and we got sheer ice here again, like usual. You get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I was trying to do there. Uh. Okay, Diesel, that's not what I meant. Diesel, stop. That's not what I meant. Thank you for watching, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching the video. Diesel, you left your snot on there. You left your nose stuff on there. There. Sorry about that. Thanks for watching the videos. You guys are great. Don't forget to like. Can I go now? Okay. Here you go. He wanted to be a part of the vlog, so. Commander, you want to say something? No? Nothing? Chevy, you want to say something? Want to say something? Hmm? They're right here. They're right here. Say something. No? No? You're a little shy? Okay. Why are you lurking out there, Commander? Making me nervous.
breathing down my neck while I'm trying to edit here. Anyways, thanks for watching today. Uh, don't forget, guys, give the video a, a thumbs up below uh, if you can for me. If you want to help out the channel, that's that's awesome. If you want to share this as well, too, that's an even bigger way to help the channel. But just just by clicking that, that thumbs up down there, it helps with the YouTube algorithms and uh, helps me out a lot. We'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully, uh, hopefully there'll be less snow when we get up. We'll see.